Alrighty. So today we're gonna do this run call Blockbuster. So they're filming a movie. We have to drive the train on the movie set. So we'll see how this one goes today. Everybody's doing well. So this is on Antelope Valley Line. And this run is about 40 minutes. Real quick. Just taking a little bit of time here to load. Today you'll be working on a film set for an upcoming action movie. Take the train up to the set and await instructions from the director. Set up here. So again, this one is about 40 minutes, I said, so see how it all runs. Starting at this five. Travel back just a little. Okay, we should be good then. these wipers before. So we'll see what we get here. Hey Katie, how's it going? Good to see you.
I'm doing well. I'm trying to just do a little relaxing run here. Wait for the end of the train to pass that point. Speed up here. Yeah, this one's pretty quick. It's probably, it says it's about 40 minutes, so it won't be too long today. I think Kojo, I think I've seen Kojo do this one on the stream. They're filming a movie, so we have to like get to these points so that they can uh, shoot the scenes and explosions as the train's going by. So pretty straightforward today. Get a little bump up to 10. I've got another train passing here. Still got 1.5 miles to go until we stop at LA Union Station. Don't think I, th I did the subway when I was in LA. There's a little metro that runs, but I did not take any of the larger commuter trains. Now, even when I was in San Jose area, I just took one of like the local commuter trains, which is pretty nice. I try to always ride trains whenever I go vacation if I can. the engine brake there we are good still have a little bit of downhill so I'm just going to use the engine brake a little more it's gonna require us to get down to 12 miles per hour which is gonna be interesting uh, Katie, if you're still there, are you streaming soon? Okay. Uh, which uh, which game are you thinking about? Start engine breaking a little more now. It's because we have to be at 12 at this next signal. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I haven't played Sea of Thieves. Is it pretty good? Kind of reminds me of, um, there used to be an old uh, Pirates of the Caribbean um, MMO, but I think it was like third person. This was like ages ago. Then I, I think I played it up until the point where they wanted you to start spending like real money. Okay, cool. Oh, it's in the game. <laughs> yeah, they used to have this old like um, uh, massive multiplayer online version of Pirates of the Caribbean and you would just 
create your character and then run around doing a bunch of stuff with the other people. Kind of like the Star Trek one. But eventually they usually get to a point where they want you to start spending some real world cash to get certain things done. Okay, pull into the station here. Things are that fast, so we should be able to stop the train. Alright, the director's ready to film the test, test run, switch cabs, and drive to the starting position. Okay. To shut this cab down. Set this handle to off. To cut the brakes back out. To turn off the fuel pump on this end. Generator. Engine. Take the cab out of setup. Okay, switch and oh, oh, we're in 
didn't realize we were gonna get the recon. That explains why certain features like the wipers and things weren't touched yet, because we did them on the set. Okay. That explains why these switches were different. So we just put the train into the station. We're heading now to do a test run for this particular scene. setup is similar to one of the, the Amtrak trains. So we're just moving through here. we get all these points that they want us to stop at time we can successfully complete this one welcome if you're joining we are doing the antelope valley line scenario or blockbuster this one we are helping movie set so we have to move the train into particular positions at certain times so that they can get the shots that they need um, we're going to do a test run first though Okay. 
Alright, for this scene, the train has to be kept up with the stunt car, keep your keep your speed high, and pass each mark at the same time as the car get moving, once the director gives the go-ahead, okay. Wait for the director to give us the go-ahead. Ready. And action. Go. All right, let's make it. The thing is that we still have these speed restrictions, which is going to probably make things more difficult. I'm feeling they're going to do this more than once. This is supposed to be a test run. The thing is, this train is fairly responsive. Somebody on top of my RV. pretty intense trying to keep all these things up to 50 now Please to film the scene and head back to the starting point. Alright, I'm gonna go full service here. Take the brakes down a bit. To be at 25 passing this point. Beautiful. Okay, so then we're gonna go back all the way to the starting point and then do another run. Hopefully, that completes this.
so we're gonna change ends and then get back the other way. Set the brakes to test mode. Turn these off here. Set this to neutral. Take the handle out and head to the other end. Okay, fastest way to do this would be to climb out. Go back into the gallery car, back to the start and, and the actual bull run. The explosions and everything. Okay, let's get this started. So we're going to go back to the starting point. This time we're going to go shot. Right, so we get to a 25. So I was back there. If you're just joining, we actually just did a test run for the scene. So now we're heading back to the main starting point so that we can head back and actually do the actual run. But you'll see, I believe, on the next run, some explosions and things like that. get it all done in time. So I'm just going to keep us around 26 because uh, the next one is 30 and the next one is going to be 25. So let's just let it smooth itself out if it will. And thanks. I want to thank everybody who is watching. Appreciate the support. Trying to bring all of these newer things from this version of Train Sim um, and have a record of them through the stream. Um, and then at some point, I'll start looking into some of the newer lines. They released, they've been releasing lines pretty much every other week now. And I've been trying to save money, so I haven't been jumping on them like I used to.
Alright, so moving through. So as you can see, we got 25 coming up next. Then when we make that turn to the right, we'll be coming down to 12. So. I have to say that at least the scenarios on this version have been pretty cool so far. Given us a lot of new things to do. Some changes from just your general pick people up and drop them off kind of scenario. We had one where we were potentially transporting a few a uh, criminal on a night train. Had a few. We've had to rescue people from international borders in Europe. It's been a nice little mix here. Looks like some food there. Okay, so once we start to get into the yard here, we're gonna have to come down to twelve. So we'll start engine braking to get down to the Okay, looks pretty good. Excellent. So once we get into this section, we're going to turn around and come back. And we're going to take care of everything going in the other direction. So stay tuned for that hopefully this next run will be our good shot run to go So we're at let's stay at twelve. So. Alright, so once we get in, we'll shut down this cab, head back to the other end, and hopefully get all the timings point so that we'll be done with this scenario. It will be interesting. Still have another seat on the other side. Some of the other gallery cars have like a seat for a second. So no one. All right. So once we're stopped, switch ends. Head back to. The starting point and film the scene hopefully successfully without any problems.
Let's head to the other end. Close to wrapping this one up. Alright, so the next thing we have to do. Actually, let me turn that bell off. Oh. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is. Head back, and we're going to get the scene filmed. Some pretty cool YouTube videos at this station that you can watch. Let's see these trains come. Here we go. I'm gonna go to the stop point and uh, the starting point. It's ready from there. the ad coming through so just hang tight we'll still be able to see everything that's happening but we'll just be waiting for that ad to play its way through here so now we're going to get to the filming of this scene so just be ready to see some explosions as we get through Speed limit's 12 here. Okay, coming around the bend here.
all the crews in position ready to film, keep up with the stunt car, pass the mark. As before, the director will begin to count down in a moment. Okay. Here we go, here comes the music. doing this stuff. is kind of Bond-esque. Good. Looks good to me. Shall see.
Ahí está. Cut. Nice driving out there. Let's see how we did. Hopefully we got enough points, but I think we did. Let's see what we get here. That one engine over there is like fritz now, as you can see. All right, what did we do? Uh, we lost some points for speeding, so oh, we still got the platinum. All right, that was fun. It was different for sure. So with that one, we had to make sure we kept the train at certain speeds and points so that it could keep up with the filming schedule i think we did a good job of accomplishing that goal all right thank you everybody for watching if you haven't don't forget to like follow and subscribe we are going to join cyan who is in flight sim right now doing a little bit of air hauler missions thank you for watching we'll catch all of you later please stay safe everyone Please join the raid. We're going to join Cyan. Cyan is doing some flight sim missions. All right, everyone. Thanks again for hanging out.